So you've got your membership site set up and running with MemberPress, but now you want to improve your signup rates and member retention, ultimately increasing your revenue. Luckily, with MemberPress Reminders, you can do just that. The Reminders feature in MemberPress uses triggers to send out automated emails to members when certain events have or are about to happen. You can automatically notify members when it's time to renew a subscription or update an expiring credit card, avoiding lapses and lost memberships. You can also automatically send out an email to a potential member who abandoned the signup process. This is a great way to reach out to those who may have had second thoughts at the last minute, had trouble during the registration process, or simply got distracted and went somewhere else before signing up. So let's jump into MemberPress to see how to set up a reminder and explore the different options you have available to use. Go to MemberPress on the left sidebar and Reminders. Here you can edit any reminder you have set up or create new ones. To create a new reminder, I'll click Add New. Here, you'll give your new reminder a title, something that describes what it'll do, such as subscription renewal, before credit card expires, etc. You, as the site's admin, will be the only one to see this title, so just give your reminder a name that'll tell you what it does. Next, you'll see the Trigger section. The trigger is the action you'll select that will cause a reminder to be sent out. Here, you can indicate how many hours, days, weeks, months, or years to send a reminder before or after your trigger event. Setting a value of zero here for anything will make it so the reminder gets sent out as soon as the event happens. In this dropdown, you'll see a list of triggers available to use. They're all pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just quickly go over what each of them are. After a member signs up, sends a reminder when a user signs up to any membership or ones that you can select below, which we'll get into later. Just to note, this reminder is only triggered for the user's first registration. Any subsequent registrations won't trigger it. After signed up abandoned, sends the reminder if a user submits the first page of the registration process, but then fails to complete the payment page where they enter their payment information, regardless of the subscription type. As a rule of thumb, we don't recommend setting this reminder to anything less than 12 hours after the event. This is because the user may return shortly on their own after they abandon the signup process. Before subscription expires, sends the reminder before a one-time, non-lifetime, payment expires, or before the last payment of a canceled recurring subscription expires, and the after subscription expires trigger sends it after. Before subscription renews, sends a reminder before the user will be billed again. For example, if the subscription is monthly, the user will get this email before each monthly billing, however long before you select here. This reminder email is not sent if the subscription has been canceled. After subscription renews, sends it after the user has been billed for a renewal on an automatically recurring subscription, like after each monthly billing in a monthly subscription. Before credit card expires and after credit card expires will send out your reminders before and after your user's credit card expires. This won't work if the user paid with PayPal or another payment method. Now that you've seen the triggers, the next section you'll see is emails. Here you have three options. The first, when checked, will email your reminder to the user when the event is triggered. Here you have options to edit the email that's sent out, send a test email, and reset the email back to the default after you edit it here. Clicking Edit will allow you to edit the email that gets sent out with this reminder. MemberPress provides an email template for each of the triggers, but here you can customize it however you want. You can modify the email subject and the contents of the email itself. These snippets here around the curly brackets and dollar sign are what's known as placeholders. Here in the dropdown, you have a number of placeholders you can use that insert a variety of things pertaining to your site, such as your reminder trigger length, user email, login URL, and much more. Just select which placeholder you want to insert into your email and click Insert. Unchecking Use Default Template will make it so the body of this email isn't wrapped in the default email template style that MemberPress sets up for you, or that you have set up in your MemberPress settings. See our support docs for more information on MemberPress's default email template, link in the description. When editing your email, if you don't like what you've done and want to revert back to the default email, just click Reset to Default here to clear out any changes you made. Clicking Send Test will send a test copy of this email to you using the email you have set up in your MemberPress settings. The next option you'll see, when checked, will send the reminder email to the site admin. This will send you, as the site's owner, the reminder email. You have all the same options to change the email here in the editor. 
The email this will be sent to will be the one set up in your MemberPress settings. If you go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Email tab, next to Admin Email Addresses, you'll see the email or emails that your reminder will be sent to. The third option you'll see when setting up your reminder is Send Only for Specific Memberships. When selected, any memberships that are selected will be the only memberships to receive your reminder. This setting is useful if you need to customize the content of each email per membership, where you'd select your memberships here and customize your email above, and create new reminders for your other memberships. Hold the Control key or Command on Mac to select or deselect individual memberships here. Once you have your reminder set up how you want it, click Publish to save the reminder. If you edit a reminder you already set up, you'll need to click Update to save any changes you make. Now that you've seen how to set up a reminder, I'll set up a few example reminders to show you what this looks like on your site. I'll go to MemberPress and Reminders, then Add New. The first reminder I'll create will send an email to my members one week before their subscription renews. I'll give this reminder a title of Before Silver and Gold Renews. So as my trigger, I'll select Before Subscription Renews and set it for one week. I want to use my default email, so I won't customize anything here. I'll check Send Only for Specific Memberships and select my Silver and Gold Memberships, which are both monthly memberships. So this reminder will send my members an email one week before they're billed. And since the subscriptions are monthly, it'll send the email out every month, one week before their billing date. I'll click Publish to save the reminder. I'll click Add New to create one more reminder. The title will be Thank You, and I'll set it to zero days and set the trigger to be After Member Signs Up. This will send a thank you email to anyone who signs up for any of my memberships immediately after they sign up. You can click Edit here to see the default thank you type of email MemberPress sets up. I'll click Publish and go back to my Reminders page in MemberPress and see the two reminders I just set up here. You can click the name of any reminder you have on this page to edit any of its fields. To quickly show you what this looks like, I'll click on my Before Silver and Gold Renews reminder. I'll scroll down to my email section and click Send Tests for both of my emails. A pop-up will notify me that they've both been sent. I'll go into my emails and see what they both look like here. Now, to easily test to make sure my reminders are working in general, I'm going to add a new reminder and set it to zero days and the trigger to be after sign up abandoned. I'll make sure the send sign up abandoned email to user checkbox is selected and click publish. Now I'll go to my site and begin the sign up process for one of my paid memberships. I'll submit the first page and when I get to the second page in the sign up process asking for my payment information, I'll exit the window. Then I'll go into the email I entered and see my reminder email right here. If you don't see the email right away, try waiting an hour or so to see if the test email goes out before you start troubleshooting. This is an easy test you can run to make sure that your reminders feature is working. And that's it. You've now seen how to set up and test reminders in MemberPress. See our support docs for more case examples to get some ideas on how you can use reminders on your site. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.